What would happen if you quit the path you were on and instead pursued your creative dream? Hi, I'm Adam Batalana. I'm a travel photographer and I sell my prints both on my website and on my shop on wheels. Today I want to share with you a little bit of the story of how I got started selling prints and the journey from there to where I'm at now. Well, I was lucky enough to do a lot of traveling from the age of about 18 onwards, backpacking and bike touring through Asia, Africa, South America. My sketchbook initially and then later my camera were my constant companions. I was proud of my photography and received a lot of encouragement to pursue it as a career, but I never really seriously considered becoming a professional travel photographer. In late 2018, I found myself living in Barcelona briefly. I was in between jobs, I needed some fast cash, I had an idea. At that time, the beach area of Barcelona had a huge, chaotic and completely unofficial market where every day hundreds of people would come down, lay the merchandise on the floor in long lines for tourists to buy. Well, I decided to join them. One afternoon, I took three photos that I printed out and crudely mounted to see what happened. Just went out there, said, hey, I'll try it. Guy came past on a bicycle, picked one up and bought it. It was a revelation for me. In that moment, Nomad Prince was born. Of course, the whole thing was completely illegal. Every so often, the police would turn up, everyone would pick up their stuff and just run for it. I remember at some point, I had my blanket bundled up, my photos inside, and I'm hiding behind a car with a Senegalese guy, hiding from the police, and I'm just thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> you want to find out the real value of your work? Put it out there, put a price tag on it, and see what people will pay. Okay, I know, the value of art is subjective, but it's interesting to really find out. And what somebody's prepared to pay for that, it might be more or less than you originally thought. For a lot of people, there exists a disconnect between who they are and what they do, how they express themselves and what their day-to-day -day job is. Now, when you take your art and make that your job, to some degree, you're bridging that divide. Overall, my experience has been a newfound sense of purpose and an enthusiasm for work. And by the way, if you're wondering where I am, I'm shooting this in Inkles Valley in Andorra. Thanks for watching.